as, as we go along. You know, he's diabetic, and di diabetes is a very serious disease. So, uh, you know, I think everybody's interest and approach right now is, you know, what do we need to do do today to make sure that, uh, you know, we're not making anything worse. So uh, that's the reason he was hospitalized, and, you know, they're just going to make sure we're staying right on top of it. And to me, football is really secondary right now in this equation. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if we're talking about days or weeks. I don't know that. I don't know if anybody knows that right now. But whenever, you know, whenever he's ready to come back, we'll get him back and go. And in the meantime, we'll just, you know, we'll, uh, we'll uh, you know, proceed with that. Was he having, he was having back issues too? Spasms? Yeah, you know, I mean, he's had a cast on basically probably 11 months out of the last 14. So, you know, it all started when he had the, the toe amputated last uh, July, probably July, August. I think it was July. So anyway, you know, he's, uh, as you guys know, I mean, he kind of hit the wall after the Michigan State game. And, uh, you know, it just hasn't gone away. So uh, at this point, you know, I, I know this, he won't coach this week. And uh, I'm hopeful we get him back as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, if it's next week, great. If it's not, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Place kind of coming into the year, maybe not knowing. Well, you know, I mean, really going back to 2004, I think it'd be silly if uh, you know you didn't give that some thought. I uh, hadn't given it some thought, so I think we've all been prepared for uh, either case. And, uh, you know, it's just it's like when a player gets hurt, you know, you have to you push through. So that's what we're doing. And, uh, all of us uh, are most concerned about him being healthy. And then secondly, uh, you know, our wish list is getting him back as fast as possible. But we're not going to compromise one for the other. And whenever he gets back, whether it's days, weeks, or months, or a year, I mean, you know, I don't think we're talking about that. But if it got to that, that's what it'll be. Will he be involved in game planning? Or? Not th I don't think this week. I don't think this week. Is that how, how important? I mean, I know that. Well, I mean, he's, he's our coordinator, right. you know. Yeah, Norm's our coordinator, and, uh, you know, he's done a lot for our program from a defensive standpoint. From a, you know, He's made a million contributions, not just in football. So that's you know, like losing a, uh, well, you know, a star player, if you will. And, uh, but when you lose one, you know, somebody has to step up and you know, everybody else. You know, we, we got a lot of very capable people here, and they're all going to, you know, we're all going to. Pitch in and get it done. How much does it help? That, uh, when was the last time you spoke with him? Yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. In the hospital. Mm -hmm. yep. How much does it help that you have a lot of really veteran guys back there on defense? Yeah, it's, it, it's really important on every every level. You know, we have a pretty veteran group on in playing out there on the field, which yeah. is important. And we got a veteran staff too, so it's uh, you know it, it, we won't we won't have any excuses for not playing well this week. Really, man. Uh, Norm be the first guy to tell you he was there. No, he, I take it back. He missed that 04 game. <laughs> yeah, we were laughing about that yesterday, as a matter of fact. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, he did miss that one. But, you know, he's been here for some wins and losses, and uh, we're, we're better with him. I know that. But we'll, we'll be fine. You guys have looked uh, pretty sharp the first two games, maybe sharper than a lot of your teams have this early on. Uh, what do you attribute that to? You know, I thought about that a little bit, and I guess if I was going to pinpoint one thing, I'd say our, our veteran players, you know, they, they've uh, uh, clearly done a good job of leading uh, leading this team. And, uh, you know, they got another challenge this week, you know, and our veteran group, I think those guys are really invested right now. And, uh, you know, I think they know what's, uh, you know, what's in front of us right now, too. So hopefully they'll keep, keep uh, helping the tempo of things go the right way. Has Zusevic, has he been what you thought he'd be? He's done a nice job, yeah. yeah. I, mean, he's, yeah I would say it about the group collectively, and I'd say it about him individually. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm a coach, I always expect the worst, so, uh, you know, but he, he's practiced well, and I think, you know, what we're seeing in practice, we've seen him translate it uh, to game day. I think he had a false start the other day, and that's, you know, probably the most glaring mistake he's made uh, in a couple of weeks, so he's. He's conscientious, he works hard, and competes well.